Hi, welcome to Finding Treasure, The Journey Home, through Oracle Cards and Astrology. Well, the Sun is in Sagittarius, and tonight's full moon is exactly opposite in Gemini, and Mercury Retrograde is upon us from December the 3rd at 2.34 a.m. Eastern to December the 23rd. Tonight's full moon is a supermoon, meaning its orbit is very close to Earth, and for those with clear skies tonight, it may appear bigger than a regular full moon. The moon is all about emotions, so your emotions may feel more powerful during this full moon. This potent supermoon shines its light upon us, inspiring and inviting us to go within, to take a look at what is no longer serving us, what is working for us, what we need more of, what we've been neglecting, offering opportunities for deeper releases and greater insights. Coincidentally, Gemini is ruled by Mercury, meaning that it is greatly influenced by Mercury, the planet of information and technology. Mercury goes retrograde on December the 3rd, making all these energies even more powerful. Mercury retrograde is when the planet Mercury slows down and appears to stop and move backward. It's an optical illusion since the planet is always moving forward. It happens three times a year and lasts about three weeks. It's usually a time when we go inward, a time to reevaluate things in our life. Perfect timing with this full moon in Gemini in December. Mercury rules many things communications, technology, conversations, schedules, planes, trains, automobiles, computers television, newspapers, writing, small motor skills. When Mercury goes retrograde, we tend to experience challenges in these areas. Flights may be delayed, plans that you may have had scheduled on your calendar for months may be canceled, mail gets held up, you may have car trouble or computer glitches, that's all part of Mercury retrograde. As annoying and frustrating as all these things can be, especially during the hustle and bustle as we try to prepare for Christmas, Mercury Retrograde offers us wisdom and blessings, inviting us to slow down, pause, breathe, take extra care with our communications, taking the time to think things through and to choose our words carefully. Do we really need to fight that battle now? How important is it? Reread emails, letters, contracts before signing anything or sending it out, or replying to messages that we have received. When our plans go not according to plan, and we're feeling frustrated or angry, how will we choose to respond? Mercury retrograde invites us to stop, breathe, count to 10 if necessary, repeat again if necessary, and respond with compassion, understanding, and love. What appears to be an obstacle can indeed become a stepping stone. It's amazing how when the unexpected steps in to change our plans, we are often led in a direction that is much better than we could ever have imagined. Some call that divine appropriate timing. I call them God moments. We are always divinely protected and divinely directed. We just need to be open to receive. Mercury retrograde invites us to do just that one day at a time. I also decided to pull an oracle card from Colette Baron reeds Wisdom of the Oracle Divination Cards, asking, what does Spirit want us to know about the supermoon in Gemini and Mercury retrograde, and was gifted with time for a nap, number 24, saying that this is a time for rest, rejuvenation, renewal, temporary non-action, allowing dreams to arise. So fitting. The prosperity message says, this is a great time to take a break from your busy schedule and allow yourself the opportunity to step back. Your plans are meant to be put on ice. Your goals can wait. Dream, imagine, and let go of attachments to any outcome now. Meditate and take a holiday if you can. Things will speed up soon enough. After a break, you may want to make some changes. Epiphanies have an amazing way of arising when you take your focus off your to-do list 
and allow yourself to rest. Mercury retrograde, time to slow down, go within, dream, a time of temporary non-action, taking extra care of ourselves and our communications with others. When Mercury goes direct on December the 22nd at 8.51 p.m. Eastern, that will be a time of action, saying yes to those dreams and epiphanies that come out of our nurturing time within Mercury retrograde. Wishing you abundant blessings. If you have found this video helpful, please like and share it with your family and friends. Wishing you abundant blessings. Thank you.